Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Show. This is the intro to the game. And welcome to Honey. I joined a cult. You are the leader of a cult. You get to choose what hats they wear, what clothes they wear, what they worship, and what they are called. As you can see, things can get slightly out of hand. How it works is, you are the cult leader. In which case, this one is Charlie Fish. As you can see, they are doing pretty well. V pretty, pretty well. And they, um, you try and get followers. Followers uh, come to all the meetings. They like all the things. They love all the things. And they give you money. And also, like, a bit of fame. And a bit of a few other resources which you obviously go into. And then you have your inner sanctum of people. These are the ones who work for you. So your goal is, as cult leader, get more people to work for you, get more followers to get all the money, and do all the cult things. Because you can do all sorts of creepy things. Now, it's early access, so only the only real path of true cultism is darkness. Like, you can do all the things like uh, yoga mats, uh, sermons, worshipping the egg, or Cthulhu in this case. But there is also, obviously, true cultism going on. Like, that guy was genuinely blue, not just paint. So, with that in mind, we're going to go do the tutorial. I've done the tutorial quite a lot, I quite like it. I can't save the game, because when I was last doing the game, although it now works, if you tried to autosave, it would crash the desktop. It works if you did normal saves, but also saves literally killed your game. That was a fun two hours of footage lost. Ugh. Agents, let's roll out this stuff. So yeah, you have to try and not get too much heat by, you know, uh, enslaving people's minds to you. Because if you do, they may do a raid. You don't want people to protest you because they may stop you doing other things. So obviously you, personally, want to try and keep a low profile while building a cult and that involves obviously a RimWorld style base, RimWorld style people and then you do missions where you send your best people out for the job or in some cases you send a person out for the job and hope for the best now it has a few bugs hopefully they're fixed, I'll talk about them now but one of the biggest ones is if your people ate food they would hurt themselves if their hands were dirty they would hurt themselves if the food wasn't clean and then they would spend 16 or so hours being injured, which at the very beginning of the game left to massive amounts of your people being injured because the food wasn't as good as they expected and they injured themselves. Another great one is, which might still be in, I'll have to check, things require repairing and if you leave them long enough they break down. The problem is the game didn't leave it long enough, so after say 30 seconds a thing would break and no one would repair it, even if they had the repair job and all the items. So, basically, your people wouldn't have showers anymore. They'd all get dirty. They'd all get upset. They'd all leave. Literally, the game would break the things that broke and broke the way to repair them. And you had... Uh, depression spirals. Tantrum spirals. And everything would leave. Now, this is uh, seven pre-made cults, as you can see. We quickly go through it. You choose your symbol, as you can see. You choose your high priest. You obviously you choose how they look. You choose their hats. You choose the, the hat of the high priest, as you can see. There are a few items. There's multiple different symbols. You can choose what the being's called. Choose the cult name, first name, the title. You can choose what your people are called, and you choose what they actually worship. Now, obviously, there'll be mods eventually, but here's all the things you can worship. I do like the idea of a glowing green rock. There's a nuke, disco ball. There's this, which I just found hilarious. A couple of Cthulhu's. There's a few things you can worship. A few outfits. This one's got a cattail. A few different hats. And obviously there's ten pre-made cults. This is the House of Cool. They're Donzies, you're the Don. The Divine of Pharaoh, the Worm President. Oh, the Vice Moon Pie and the Moon Men. I really like the idea of just having dinosaurs wandering about, so let's do that. We've got the dino men.
So your actual call to obviously called the name you give them. You can see I have 5 of 9 Dynamen, Norse of 16 followers. So it starts off very Rimworld esque. You don't get attacked by rage, which is good. So I'm Stephen Cream, you can call me Head Dinosaur. Welcome to Children's Source. He gives a speech Grimlock told me you were coming. Grimlock tells me loads of stuff. Just me, though. Nobody else can hear it. Grimlock was told me you were going to help get the Dynamen up and running. So, unlike other games of like this style, your people don't need to build. As in, you put something down, as long as you have the money, it works. You don't have to watch them cut down trees and stuff like that. Your people's only job is to eat, sleep, poop, and work. Also, uh, a teeny tiny little bit of worshipping. You can use the compound. Previous venture involved Grimlock. I can't go into details. Go to develop into a state of the art facility. So, how do you do that? Okay, so next to Dynamo. So, you show me what actually has stats, as you can see here. You can see their mood, you can see their beds, assignments, you can see what they're doing, you can see what food they want. Vending machine, you'll be lucky. And obviously, you can see stuff like their hunger, their energy, their hygiene, their bladder, their fun, their prestige. So, prestige is obviously. How good the room is. You kind of want that to be pretty good eventually. Because the higher the tier of the people you have, the more they want. Now, the very first stuff, they're just scrub tier. Absolute scrub tier. Okay, let's do this. Do that. There we go. Big room. Put a door in. There we go. So, as you can see, quite simple. You have uh, outer areas, you have the inner areas. You have doors. You have all the important stuff. All the important stuff. Now, certain rooms require a certain amount of size. You can't just say build a 3x3 three three and hope for the best. Some of them have got a 6x6, six six, some of them are more so. And obviously, there are room types in the game as we're going through now. So, it's teaching me how to do beds. So, you want to put a bedroom down. As you can see, these are my current ones. Jurassic House. I love the name. I do love the name. Thank you. So, it's just teaching me how to do things. As you can see, things are just built instantly. You can obviously choose with the rooms. Ah, go away. But yeah, things are built absolutely instantly. If you have the money, you have the item, which is always good. Every room, of course, needs a door. There we are. We now have beds. One bed per person, and that's all you need. Now, all the things you need, very, very important, you need a bathroom. Basically, you need a bedroom, a bathroom, a canteen. That's all you really, really need for the very beginning. Bedroom, bathroom, canteen, and your people will be happy. But again, like I told you, your people get a little bit uh, useless if their uh, things break. Yes, okay. Thank you for telling me all these things. And that's obviously uh, quite a lot of issues. Okay, bucket on a string. It obviously won't let me build anything extra right now, it's just teaching me how to do all the things. But yeah, you need a bedroom, you need a bathroom, you need a canteen, you need all the good stuff. And obviously when that's all done, you get to have all the even cooler stuff. Because things can be upgraded, you also eventually get... Ooh, there's the vending machine. You also eventually obviously get upgraded, you get, get new items, there is entirely a research tree in the game. Okay, what do you want? Filing cabinet? Light fittings? Yeah, lights also get built automatically too. I don't know, let's have a tall mirror. So they can watch themselves pooping? A couple of potted plants by the door. There we are. So obviously that makes people's moods happier. It also gives prestige. Better prestige, the happier they are. But of course, the most important thing in your world will be the sanctum. Because what's a, uh, what's a cult of dynamen without the Jurassic house? Now, every single day, your people will, of course, go to worship it. Mm, that one. So, you will, of course, be needing something to worship at. There we are. Here, you put decor items in later. So, yeah, the first one is about to begin. Now, random people will also go in there. These will be your followers. They go in, obviously, then they pay you money because they're enjoying the sermons. But most of your people will go in so they can feel closer to their god. Which, of course, right now is an egg. And there we are, Stephen Cream. That's it. Give me what I need. And down here, obviously, you can see your money. You can see prestige. You can see your heat. This is the heat. You kind of don't want heat, but you will get it by doing missions. Yes, yeah, speak of the love. Lovely dino men. Speak of the love. 
Scared. I love how they talk in emojis. It's just how I want the world to be when the future comes around. Talking in emojis. Four of eight. Because obviously one is me, no followers. Okay, select Jurassic House. Select Sermon. So as you can see, you can choose when the sermon is, you can choose the type. We don't have an altar to do a more dark version. You can see here, the influence gained, the faith generated. Your people require faith. So, the sermons are there to get faith. If you don't have faith, your people will start losing faith and then leaving. Influence is used to uh, do certain items and objects. So obviously, influence is how you influence the world, as it were. Missions, exciting things... Some items. And this is how we get people to uh, work with us. It's a meditation studio. And of course, once you have meditation, you begin to join a cult. Everyone knows that. That's why I personally don't do yoga, just in case I'm suddenly in a cult. And that's my excuse. There we are. So obviously when followers come here, they'll start doing that. They'll give us money. Now that's all we get. There is no other reason for that apart from making money. Now how do we get followers? There are two ways. One is researchable. Our people literally start bothering them out on the street. The other one is we make them come to us. Because if there is a lobby, as you all know, people go, Hey, what's that building? And then they go in and then suddenly they join a cult. Personally, that's what I do. We don't do... Uh, Lobbying on the streets anymore. We wait for them to come to us, as all cults would. There we are. You know what people really love? What? Paving tiles. They don't, but they will like the oh, paving tiles. They will specify the use of paving more than any other place. Of course, I'm going to do that right now. Met someone at the bar. Well, they look different. Okay. Come with me, and you'll see a world of pure procrastination. As you can see, they're having a chat. And now they're a follower. Like I say, followers will do all the exciting things, which right now is worship and yoga. They're paying me money and they're paying me influence. So you do want a steady supply of followers. Now, you only have so many dino men, you have so many followers. You can upgrade that to higher numbers. I think probably like 20, 25 dino men, like 40, 50 followers. So it's not too big. So obviously, when you get higher quality ones, which is obviously unlocked by having significantly more faith, you will get rid of your current ones. Wait for them to leave, but the people who leave, they kind of have a bad word and a lot of heat, especially if you're a little bit suspicious. So now we're gonna make some money. That's it, worship me. Worship me. Donald Munro is a good preacher. So you can also set up obviously what they're doing. People level up. You can make it so that they actually have skills in certain areas. Like maybe they're better at worshiping. Maybe they're better at recruiting. Maybe the better at missions. You know, just the usual things. But at the lowest tier, the scrub tier as I will call them, they're going to be pretty rubbish. Pretty, pretty rubbish. Well, what's up then? Okay. Others should probably never leave the compound ever. Okay, launch a mission. So these will be missions. You can start getting more and more as time goes by. You can look special ones. And each one requires... Let's see, a PR. This each one requires certain skill sets. Which right now only Amy has. In fact, Joshua is useless because they're disorganised. Okay, go on you, Amy. You are the only useful person in my entire cult. Which is not a good sign. I'll be bluntly honest. Okay, here comes the money. As you can see, money is constantly going in. We, of course, want to keep our faith up or as our people will leave. Faith is the only thing which keeps them not wanting money. And also apparently working for us. Which is, to be fair, they are worshipping an egg. What we got? We got PR. Actually, PR is how we get. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. PR is how we get better people. The better PR, the more they have heard about us. So obviously, PR is what we need to improve the look. So your resources are money to build, faith to keep your people. Obviously, influence to do more important things. PR to get better people, and heat to get noticed. Which you don't want to get noticed. Let's get a research room up and running. Teach me your ways, research room. There we are. Research is also a little bit of an odd one. I was expecting more. Also a very, very <laughs> supercomputer. A very, very prepared for this kind of thing. But research is very much, you click, you're done. 
See that? That's where you spend some of your influence. And that's it. You get a person will go in there, the person will do it. And that's about it. it. I was expecting a little bit more, but it is what it is. Now, the actual research, as you can see, there's a fair bit to it. Let's see, there's different missions you can do, different foods, covert ops, Dynaman Cap here's extra two there. Extra faith in the sermon. There's a fair few buildings, the kitchen, leader's sanctum, recruitment office, that's where you walk out, energy spa, lots of different things you can actually do and get. To slowly expand your cult of awesome. What's well, research complete? Need to work, Is that? And there's the broken down stuff, which, of course, should actually work this time around. Now, it did work last time around, it just didn't work all the time. Even if you had everyone prioritised to only doing cleaning and repairing, most of the people would not do it. And there was a great thing where if they tried to do it, which I think is still in, what they do is they prioritise the build order. So rather than fix all the damage things, they would prioritise the build order, like this. See how they're cleaning everything? See how they're actively cleaning everything? They don't... See, even, even the game says, do that, right click that. Because you shouldn't really need to do that, should you? They should repair the damaged things first, so they don't do that. They prioritise cleaning the floor over broken things. What does that mean? It means your maintenance workers will be very upset that the shower they're not repairing is broken and leave. That's exactly what that means. So that's still a massive, massive issue. Hopefully they fix it a bit more. Certainly, actually, create heat such as people dying, dying and leaving mission failures. I guess too high people may protest against it, the police might intervene. But yeah, my friend from the bar looks pretty desperate, so I reckon they join our ranks if we asked them. Okay. So what we do over here, of course, you can see what their actual traits are, we don't know. They're going to recruit them, and they say yes, and now we have another one. Perfect. Level 1. Quality is very poor. See this? Level cap five, 3, skill cap 5. We need better PR to get better people. Which means we are now, we have lots of a lot of different things, we've many downhill fighters, so we giant octopuses. Okay, so the leader's, the leader's sanctum is where we actually start doing the things. So I'll actually quickly go do that, and show you what the leader's sanctum is. So this little symbol here, as you can see above this guy's head, as we're doing things, shows they can be levelled up. Now these are the actual skills, so, we have empathy, which is better for generating for influence uh, in therapy rooms, so obviously this is bluffing. Follows the Jurassic House, recruitment chance in the lobby. That'd be useful. Butchery, kitchen stuff, espionage, covert ops stuff, intelligence, research and healing. Planning, covert ops and research. Retail, money generated by followers and therapy rooms. So obviously that quite now would be this. Improvisation, recruitment chance in the lobby. Maybe I'll give you that. Congratulations, ooh, level three, double leveled. Quality very poor, brain cobwebs, he's stupid. So obviously I can prioritise what I want him to do. I want him to be our receptionist. That will be his job. Time for a rebrand. And you can also at any single time change your cult. As you can see, you can go to here and customise. If you don't like the cult you've got, you can change everything. Which is what cults do. They just rebrand every now and then, which is awesome. But yeah, let's get all research in. Okay, so now that... Oh, thank you. Now that we've actually got this going on, as you can see here, another thing. Certain buildings, here's an upgrade, auto experimenter, ancient armor, it's a very small room, there's a leader's room. But yeah, you can only have one of so many, you can upgrade that to have more, but that's the future thing. We now have the divine inspiration. Right now, we only have darkness. Which is the darkness theme, obviously this gives me darkness rating, once we unlock that, we have access to more dark based things. Obviously this is where the true cultist part of the cultist game comes in. Like I say, I'd love to see more things. Right now, darkness is as darkness does. It means, despite what you're doing with all the cultists and so on, and all your cults, they kind of all turn out exactly the same. Because, of course, you're all doing the same research. Now, darkness uh, things will give you darkness missions. It'll give me PR missions. Of course, I'll be needing PR to get better people. Right now, Amy is the only average person. They're the only person who can... Let's see, all-star... 
They're the only person who's going to get level cap 8, skill cap 8. That's why they had the ones to actually do the first mission. Everyone else is useless. Absolutely useless. Let's see. Free time work, free time work. Oh, I don't like the idea of free time. I don't like the idea at all of free time. I'm the leader, plus 12. Strong faith, free use. Oh, free time, free use, no. So yeah, as you can see, people are going on. I've actually put some paths down. They will follow the paths religiously, which is good for being in a cult. And obviously, as research goes on, you then get that. And then it'll unlock stuff like missions. You can spend influence to do a darkness mission. Which, of course, will allow you to maybe steal some dark items, or do some better PR, or maybe get some money. Okay, darkness has been done. Back to Divine Inspiration, as you can see. I can start a doctor's mission, which will obviously give me all these resources, you can see, complete mission to complete this divine inspiration. I can also do this, which will allow me to steal random items, which should be pretty cool. So yeah, you do kind of want to do these things to obviously get more items, get more resources, and obviously as time goes by, you'll get more and more things. See this, additional divine inspirations at 300 darkness ratings. You want to do these to get more darkness. So this will obviously give me darkness, will obviously give me a little bit of darkness, but give me items. Do that, improve, expand, become the great cult of the Dynamen. Praise be to Grimlock. Now one thing I can also say quite happily is, they fixed the urge to fix things. What does that mean? It means things don't break down as fast. Usually, in one day, everything in this room of the bathroom being used twice would have broken it. No, I'm not joking. Literally, a guy would have used a shower, a second guy would have used a shower, it's broken. And obviously, then I move on to the next shower. It gets broken. I have yet to see these things break in a day three in. So they finally listened and fixed that. I think that was like three, four days in. But yeah, this is Honey, I Joined a Cult. You want to see more? Please tell me. Maybe I'll stream it. Maybe there'll be a series. Maybe you'll get named and sacrificed to the great Cthulhu. But yeah, I enjoy it. I've been waiting for this game quite a lot. It's just been a while till I got it. But yes, I've been the Fallen Shogun. This has been a first impression of Honey, I Joined a Cult. We are building a cult. We are expanding our reach and learning the ways of the world. And eventually, eventually, we will call his noodly appendages down upon the heathens. Till then, take care and keep on keeping on. Oh, what? I need 50? Oh.